Hey, what's going on guys? So today we have a special video. Um, this isn't really ball python related at all, but I wanted to talk about tarantulas and how to house them specifically. Because I have a rather, you know, new channel, there's pl plenty of tarantula videos out there that'll show what they house the tarantulas in. Um, for me, specifically since I, I guess I would consider myself a ball python channel or whatever, um, you people in the ball python community might not know a lot about tarantulas. So I'm gonna try to educate you guys from my perspective. So ball pythons are way more expensive than tarantulas to, to house. Um, for example, you know, you have to buy the rack or the tank or whatever you're gonna put your ball python in versus, um, and then also the thermostat versus the tarantula, you can get things like this. This, you can actually buy at, let's say, uh, I got this from Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks. Um, if you actually sign up with Hobby Lobby and go in and um, sign up with their uh, email listing, you can actually get a coupon for like, I think 40 or 50% off for that selection for the day. Um, a lot of people in the tarantula community use these and I'll show you what they are. So there's these little boxes about this big. They are, so it's gonna be 3.75 inches uh, length and then 1.75 or 1.8 height and then the, the actual width. These are gonna be really great for your spiderlings. These are gonna be things that, that are probably either a three-fourths or an inch in diameter, um, including the leg span. And they're really cool. They just open up like this. You're gonna drill some holes in it and they're gonna keep like this. Unlike ball pythons, you don't need a thermostat or, or a heater or anything. These, these display cases will not need heat like a ball python would. Um, they will, tarantulas will thrive typically um, in an environment, if you're comfortable, they will be comfortable in. Um, so a lot of people also like to use these because like in the ball python industry, you never just get one, right? You never ever just get one. Um, so they come with uh, six total. The next level that people get would be something like this. It's a car display case. Um, they come in bigger sizes too. Like you get an actual doll display case and people use these uh, to house their juvenile or sub-adult tarantulas in here. Uh, they come from the same store, Hobby Lobby, so you get them together if you want to. Um, and yeah, this was this was ten bucks. So ten bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks. Probably I would add them. Um, you're gonna add them more money off of that when they get to an actual uh, adult size. But for most of their life, you know, some tarantulas can take a whole year or two to actually get to adult size. Um, so you know, twenty bucks for two years, not not bad compared to. Uh, ball python, you know, if you want to go with the, the, the tub route or you wanted to go with like an actual aquarium route, terrarium route, you know, you either gonna have to get a bigger size, like a 20 gallon, and then upgrade it there when it gets bigger, and it's just gonna cost a bunch of money, like, like you know, thermostat, all this stuff. Um, these are relatively cheap to house. Tarantulas are relatively, relatively cheap to house. Now, the next level up that if you don't want to go this route and you wanted to go to an actual pet store, pet stores will actually sell things like this. So they're made by Zilla, it's macro habitat. Uh, these things right here, are awesome. Um, they are made kind of plasticky, um, so some people don't like them. I personally haven't used these yet, but I know a lot of people who recommend these who are in the actual tarantula community. Uh, I think Tarantula Kate did a uh, video about these and she loved them. I will, if you don't know who Tarantula Kate is, you might not because it's, you know you are from a ball python community, not from a tarantula community. I'll post your link down below. This was, I think, 30 bucks. Um, again, 30 bucks. In the tarantula community, 30 bucks sounds expensive because again, 10 bucks or 10 bucks compared to 30 bucks, you know? Um, you could get, these are about the same size. You could get three of these for one of these. So tarantula community, these are expensive, but I mean, I like them. If tarantula Kate likes them, I guess I like them. Um, she's one of the staples in the tarantula community. If you take advice from somebody big in the community, they're not gonna steer you wrong. So if she agrees with these, then I'm gonna give it a try too. The next level up is gonna be personally a company that's actually started from the pandemic. Um, you can go with uh, things like, you know, Exoterras and something like really, really big. Um, those can be expensive too, um, but you have to retrofit them um, and do a little bit of things to them. I'm not gonna get into full detail with that video, but people who know about the tarantula community know you have to retrofit them um, to secure your tarantula, basically. There's a company that I went with uh, that have been blowing up recently in the tarantula community. And these are the things that uh, I ordered. Um, a shipment came in. I'm gonna be really excited to open it up. Uh, let's see what we got. Came from Tarantula Cribs. A rather new company in the tarantula community that actually uh, wanted to make enclosures for hobbyists because during the pandemic, we obviously know everybody bought everything in sight. You know, uh, ball python sales went up, tarantula sales went up, everything went up. 
and there wasn't enough enclosures to go around for a lot of the tarantula community, so they decided to make their own uh, boxes. So I got the small terrestrial, which is going to be short but longer, and then three of the uh, three of the sling enclosures. And this right here is the rack. Uh, I just also wanted to apologize. I might put this in the beginning of the video. I'm not sure yet, but um, just wanted to apologize for my epic. Uh, cinematic unboxing it's because my kids are here and everyone knows that because of the pandemic um kids are in the house right now they're asleep right now i have like maybe 30 minutes to film all of this and i'm just trying to get done before they wake up now this is their small terrestrial enclosure how it's long and then short on top uh this costed about 30 40 bucks um for a small uh post-production here um so actually the box that i received was originally the large so the box that i see displayed right now is the large um the smalls and stuff got sent the next day over so actually this is this is a large that's being shown right now i did not know that this was considered a small and i know they had the dimensions online um this is actually gonna be kind of cool um i'm gonna have to figure out which tarantula i want in this my bigger girl it's she's the xanthesis uh bright Synthesis bright. Um, she actually might fit in this. This is, might be a good enclosure for her because uh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. All right. Now again, $30 for this, or the bigger version of this is 20 bucks. I would recommend getting something like this. Now their large version is for sure a lot bigger than this. Um, so their large version is $65. Um, honestly, $65 doesn't sound like a lot for somebody in the ballpark community who might pay $65 just for maybe a really bad thermostat, you know? Usually the thermostats run like 100 bucks. That's one of the items you need for a ball pipe. $65 doesn't sound like a lot. But again, put into retrospect, 20 bucks, you know? Uh, even bigger versions of Equiteras are 40 or 50 bucks. You know, those, that's, that's kind of expensive for the tarantula community, especially if you have there's some people who have hundreds of tarantulas in their house. I don't know. To me, to me, I'm just more of a collector. Um, there's only like 12 tarantulas that I want. I might get more of that specific type that I want, um, but there's very, there's only like 12 that I want that I think that are really, really beautiful and gorgeous. And even though I know some people might not think tarantulas are gorgeous, um, I actually have arachnophobia. I don't like spiders at all. Um, daddy long legs are cool. I'll keep them in the corner. The other spiders, I don't care. I might get like a dislike for this video because I said that I don't like tarantulas, even though I have tarantulas. It's weird. Um, the best way I can explain it is that when it's your child, you love the shit out of it, right? You love it completely. When it's your child, you absolutely love it, you know, but when it's someone else's child, you don't want to take care of it, right? Uh, same thing. I like my tarantulas a lot. I love them a lot. Um, I think they're really cool and beautiful. However said, I do not want to see a wild tarantula roam around, right? If I could see them on the ground and they're cool, they're, they're just chilling there, awesome, you know, it's cool. Uh, but like one time I freaked out because I grabbed the doorknob, flipped it, and there was a black widow on the doorknob, and I screamed like a little girl. So far with this enclosure, I actually like it a lot. It's a sliding lid. The reason why I absolutely love this is that we all know in the tarantula community, uh, the dangerous spiders, like I have an OBT, right? or the orange bitey thing, or the old bitchy thing, or the uh, orange bamboo tarantula, right? Uh, the OBT is a very, very fast, medically significant venom. Um, and if it bites you, it's gonna be a bad day. But for the most part, you know, there's some tarantulas, they actually have venom that will probably hurt like a bee sting, and that's it. A little swelling maybe, but that's kind of it. And there's some that will put you in the hospital. The one that I have could potentially put you in the hospital, but that's really rare because you know I mean, I'm, unless if you're like really, 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 really like just not caring and just like messing with it or, or doing something that you shouldn't be doing, right? Then you're not gonna get bit, you know? So they are fast. So the reason why I like this one is because the sliding lid, which means that I could literally just open it drop the, open it drop the food in quick close it before you know it ever gets out um you can even like cover half of it you know i've seen people i can't really do it right now but you cover half of it with like a lid i've seen people do this all the time and then they'll crack it open and then drop their food in there close it up and then you're good you're good to go sorry for the quick video i think my kids are already waking up so i have to go uh this is gonna conclude the, the episode